Welcome. In this session, we are going to see about data objects and attribute types. First, we shall focus on data objects. Data sets are made up of data objects, and each data object is an entity. In the real world, everything is a data object. For example, when you consider a sales database, customers, store items, sales, everything are data objects for the sales database. Similarly, for a medical database, the objects may be patients, treatments, doctors, medicines, everything is data objects for medical database. Similarly, for the university database, students, professors, courses, subjects, these are all the data objects of a university database. And typically, these data objects are described by means of attributes. By means of attributes. And these data objects are called by several names called samples, examples, instances, data points, objects, and tuples. In a database, each, each and every row contributes to the data object, and each and every column contributes to the attributes. Next is attribute. As I said in the previous slide, each and, data, each and every data object is represented or described by means of attributes. An attribute is defined as a data field representing a characteristics or features of a data object. This is called by several names called attributes, dimensions, feature, and variable to. Statist statisticians use the term variable, whereas in the machine learning literature, we use the term feature, whereas when uh, discussing about data warehousing, we commonly use the term dimensions. So a dimension, features, variable, attributes are all on the same line or everything is same. For example, for the sales database we already discussed, the so customer is a data object in the sales database and for customer data object, customer ID, name and address are the various attributes. Next comes attribute vector. Attribute vector is nothing but the set of attributes used to describe a given data object. And the distribution of data attribute can be univariant or bivariant. If the distribution of data is involving only one attribute, then it is univariant. If the distribution of the data is involving two attributes, then it is bivariant. Next is the types of attributes. There are several types of attributes. First one is nominal attribute. Second is binary attribute, ordinal attribute, numeric attribute. This numeric attribute is subdivided into two. One is interval scaled and next one is ratio scaled. Here, this numeric attribute contributes to the quantitative attribute, whereas nominal, binary and ordinal attribute are called as qualitative attribute. The reason behind this we shall see in the future slide. Now, we shall start with the nominal attribute. Nominal means relating to names. Nominal means relating to names. The value of the nominal attribute are symbols or names of things. Even the value represents some kind of category, code or state. Since it represents some category, this is also called as categorical attributes. Example for nominal attribute are hair color, marital status, occupation and ID numbers. For example, hair color, the color of hair of a person can be black, blonde, brown, grey, red white and so on. Any, uh, the hair color can be any one of this given set of data. So since we choose the data from the category or given data, we call it as a categorical attribute or nominal attribute. Similarly for the marital status, the state, marital status of a person can be uh, either single or married or divorced or widowed. So these are the various categories in the marital, mar marital status of a person. So when you pick a data from this, uh, this marital status becomes a categorical attribute. Similarly, occupation, if you consider there are n number of occupations, for example, you should consider teacher, dentist, programmer, former, assistant professor, everything are various occupations. So we have a broad category of data and they are all contribute to, you know, to, towards a single name. So hence the name categorical or nominal attributes. Next is binary attributes. As you all know, binary means only you can have two values, either 0 or 1. This is only two categories or two states. The two states are 0 and 1. So there are two types of binary attribute. One is symmetric and another one is 
asymmetric binary attribute if the symmetry when you call the attribute as symmetric binary attribute is if the ad, uh, out zero and one are the two outcomes and if both the outcomes are equally important then it is called symmetric attribute if it is not equally important if, uh, and if it is squared to any one of the outcome alone then it is asymmetric attribute for example gender of a person the gender of the person can be either male or female the ratio of occurrence of male and female are equal we can't say every every person is female or every person is male hence we call it we call the gender as symmetric binary attribute whereas uh, you can consider medical test for uh, a sim example of this asymmetric binary attribute when a person is imposed to perf imposed to an hiv test and the occurrence of hiv positive is very rare when comparatively to the hiv a negative so more if you make a test for 10 persons you can say uh, the 90% or 98.99% of people will have hiv negative very negligible percent will have hiv positive so here the ratio is not equal the occurrence of ones and zeros is not equal hence you call this uh, medical test as an example of asymmetric binary attribute now i hope you will be clear about symmetric and asymmetric binary attributes and this uh, since it is, it, it is uh, outcome of either zero or one you call this binary attribute as a boolean attribute too. and next is ordinal attributes ordinal attributes ordinal attribute is an attribute with positive values that have a meaningful order or ranking among them but uh, the magnitude between the success, successive values is not known or cannot be calculated here for example size the size of anything can be uh, small or medium or large we consider these are the three uh, different uh, day, uh, set available in the size this you can rank this from small to medium and medium to large first is basic is small then medium and large sized in this way you can rank but you can't find the successive value between small and medium or medium and large and similarly grades too you can also calculate uh, whether this student has got uh, uh, s grade or e grade or a grade whatever it is you know the grade and you also know the ranking which is first which is the last in the order but you can't calculate the successive value between the grades similarly in ranking or in similarly in army ranking too and this nominal binary and ordinal attributes are called as uh, qualitative attributes why we call this as qualitative attribute is they describe a feature of an object without giving an actual size or quantity typically words representing categories so these are the words representing the categories alone you can't mention either the actual size or quantity hence you call this as a qualitative attributes if integers are used they represent computer codes for the categories as opposed to measurable quantities so uh, you, if for uh, small you can uh, have the number 0 for medium you can have the number 1 and large the number 2 you can say 0 then 1 then 2 but you can't say what is the actual size or quantity of small medium and large either you can you can have the numerical representations but not the exact values for small medium and large since you doesn't have option of picking up the actual size or quantity you call nominal binary and ordinal attributes as qualitative attributes so hence to overcome this disadvantage over here you go for a new type of attribute called numeric attribute and this numeric attribute is an quantitative attribute here exactly you can measure the quantity of the attribute this uh, is measurable quantity represented in integers or real values and these are of two types one is interval scaled and second one is ratio scaled interval scaled is uh, here measured on the scale of equal size units the value of interval scaled attribute uh, have order and can have either positive or zero or negative values in addition to providing the ranking for the values such as uh, such attributes allows us to compare and also quantify the difference between the value, values for example you have given the example as temperature in celsius or fahrenheit suppose uh, i do say the temperature of uh, 20 degree celsius is 5 degrees higher than the temperature of 15 degree celsius so here uh, the statement is the temperature difference between 
15 degree Celsius and 20 degree Celsius is 5 degree Celsius. So here I am able to give up the values and also find the difference between the values. I am able to quantify the value. Hence I call this interval scaled attribute as an quantitative attribute or it, and it belongs to the category numerical attribute. Here there is no exact zero point. Uh, here uh, another one example what I can say is a calendar example. Here for example consider 2002. The year 2002 and 2010 are 8 years apart. I can I am able to give the value for the years and also say how many dif year differences between the two years. I am able to quantify the difference year difference in the year in means of years. Whether I can give uh, just think whether I can give the calendar date as 0 or temperature as 0 practically it is not possible. No temperature can be 0, no calendar date can be 0. You can't say 0 is the first value. So it means that in the interval scale attribute you actually do not have any true 0 point. So this is a drawback here. To overcome this drawback we go for ratio scaled attribute. In ratio scaled attribute, this ratio scaled attribute is a numerical attribute with an inherent zero point. That is, if the measurement is ratio scaled, we can speak of the value as being a multiple of another value. In addition, the values are ordered and we can also compute the difference between the values as well as mean, median, mode, everything can be calculated. Here consider uh, uh, the example given is temperature in Kelvin length count and uh, when you consider uh, the Kelvin example, 10 Kelvin is twice as high as 5 Kelvin. It means that uh, 10 Kelvin is 2 times 5 Kelvin. So how do you calculate 0 to 5 one time and 0 to 5 another time. So you consider from 0 till 5. Even you can inherit the 0 values in ratio scaled attributes. So that's all regarding the ratio scaled attributes. Next. Uh, we have uh, uh, almost seen uh, uh, several kinds of attributes like nominal, binary, ordinal and numeric attributes. So we have organized the attributes into any one of this category and here uh, uh, there are many ways to organize the attributes. One such way is discrete or continuous attributes. Any attribute can be either discrete attribute or continuous attribute. First we will focus on discrete attribute. So discrete attribute has a finite or countably infinite set of values which may or may not be represented as integers. The value represented need not to be an integer alone. That is the uh, main point here. For example, consider the attributes zip code, profession. Uh, profession can be uh, a dentist or a teacher or a professor or uh, a layman, anything it can be. So the you have finite set number of sets what are the professions some 10 professions you can list and these are the professions you can uh, tune it so you know what are the professions and you are able to list the profession hence it is finite value so call, you call this profession attribute as a discrete ex attribute similarly in the nominal attribute we saw an example regarding hair color you have some black brown gray white red these are the various hair colors you have uh, uh, explained there. We have given the values as hair colors, uh, values as these as the hair colors and uh, you can categorize this. So hence that can be called as a discrete attribute. Sometimes it is represented as integer vari vari variables also. Uh, as I said it, is, it need not to be integer variable. It may, it may be represented. No issues in that. And uh, here a special case is binary attribute. Uh, binary attribute in binary attribute the outcome can be either 0 or 1 that is numerical values so this is a special case of discrete attribute next is continuous attribute if an attribute is not discrete then you call it as continuous attribute the term numerical attribute and continuous attribute are often used interchangeably in the literature both go hand in hand for example of this continuous attribute is temperature height weight and even uh, you can uh, consider uh, the customer IDs and practically the real values can only be measured and represented using finite number of digits. Continuous attributes are typically represented as floating point uh, variables. So that's all regarding the various types of attributes. So till now we have seen about uh, uh, what is a data object, what is an attribute 
and then we focused on the different types of attributes that is nominal attribute 